Hi Aquarius, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. So let us see what messages come through for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. Do not force a reading on your situation, right? Let's see what messages come through for you as we enter the month of March. What do you need to hear, Aquarius? So we have the firm foundation, that's the four of pentacles energy and movement choices and decisions. I see you have to make a choice in your life, um, Aquarius, as you enter this month. You might come to a point where you have to pick something. This can be surrounding money. These two cards are of pentacles. This can be surrounding an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And or in general in your life, I see multiple doors opening, but you're not sure which one to pick. Now, in the beginning, I see you very resistive and I see that you're not sure about it. You're holding on to your point very tight. Four of Pentacles energy is the energy where you feel secure where you are, but you're very dicey, very confused and very suspicious about what other people have to offer. So it's like the insecurity regarding the outside world. So you're trying to hold on to something very strong. And I see as you move forward, you are coming to a point where you have to make some important decisions this month right in your love life you might encounter multiple choices you're struggling with options for a lot of you i see some financial things are showing up this month triumph is the card under the deck this is the chariot energy with the lo lovers interesting wow positive movement forward i see that in the near future you guys are coming to a point wow wish fulfillment magician amazing energy in the near future as you proceed forward i see there's a positive movement forward towards a very beautiful connection in love right and i see you are finally coming to a decision in love two of pentacles is a diciness confusion in decision but lovers shows me that finally eventually you're making that decision and you're confident about moving in that direction this is amazing overall right so in the beginning i see you're going to be quite skeptical you are uh, holding back and resisting for some of you i see you might turn something down but there's a confidence uh, in what direction you want to go right aquarius diving into your reading let's see what messages come through for Tor for aquarius so we're going to have messages for you, your energies, any specific person in your surroundings who's impacting this month heavily, right? And a couple of advice is an outcome for you. Okay, Aquarius, we have, interesting. We have the Ace of Cups, my God, the Five of Swords and the Star. Oh, interesting. I see a new beginning in love knocking your door, right? I see right now you're going through a, a point in your life where something is being offered to you, a new offer, uh, a confession of love, an offer of love. I see it's a new start, right? And uh, at your heart, emotionally, you're feeling that this is it, something that I was wishing for, something that I was hoping for. This is your own energy. I see something has recently happened or this is happening in the beginning of the month of March where I see that a beautiful emotionally fulfilling opportunity of love is coming your way right if you're single this is a good time to fall in love and if you are in a relationship i see this is some fresh beginning happening here meanwhile i see some conflict arising surrounding a confession of love for some of you this can be two people reaching out to you together right i see one is a beginning in love with the one you want right ace of cups meanwhile there's another party another person yeah i see it's, it's passionate with this person also it can be a leo individual i see recently some things maybe ended with this person or something happened i see a confession of love coming your way so i see a major conflict arising here if you're single aquarius wow you're shining and for a lot of you i'm getting this it's like everybody wants you right this situation is causing a lot of conflict on your mind meanwhile i see you are um making a strategy here right you're making a strategy to drop things which don't serve you anymore this is five of swords energy is the energy of distrust but i see little trickery is is happening here for some of you i see you escaping a situation which no more serves you and you're walking towards something very beautiful and new in your life let's see a specific person in your surroundings aquarius a specific person in your surroundings what is this person saying or what are their energies towards you? Wow, interesting. 
We have the seven of wands. Someone is okay to absorb at the moon. Now, someone specific in your surroundings who is um, quite resistive. I'm picking up devil. Oh my God. This person is obsessed with you. Aquarius, I'm, I'm strongly picking up devil energy. This person is overly attached with you. I see they're carrying the baggage of the past. For some of you, at some point in time, you guys had a very strong connection. Or maybe right now, this person is feeling like home with you. They want a connection with you. And they have been waiting for a very long time. This person is heartbroken. Yeah, I think they have conveyed their intentions to you. But they have. this has resulted in a serious mess. I see this person in the month of March, in the beginning of the March, I see they're returning. They're trying to reach out to you again. I see they are still guilty of something. They're carrying the baggage of the past and um, they're obsessed with you. This might amount to third party situation because I see that in your life, there's a new beginning happening. And meanwhile, I see this person fighting something, right? Maybe while you are heading towards a new beginning, this person is fighting to get into your uh, arena here, Seven of Wands. Firm foundation shows me the four of pentacles energy and I see you are trying to uh, protect yourself from this energy because they're coming up from very strong. You on one hand are very hopeful about something that is happening in your personal life. They're going to clarify what is the star. For a lot of you, I see there's a new beginning in love happening in your life. And moon shows me that this person is not happy about it. They're very disappointed. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that this person has no idea what's happening in your personal life. It's just the feeling that things are falling apart with you. Two of swords, they're very confused, they're very puzzled. Their eyes are all choked here. It's like, you know, um, blindfolded and they're indecisive. They don't know what's going to happen next. You, on the other hand, I see you are definitely making a strategy here we're going to see what is this five of swords energy but this is the kind of energy where i want to stay at a place which is unhealthy right you, you're making a strategy you walk out of a place which is unhealthy right devil energy is definitely there we're going to clarify a card or two this is very interesting let's see what is this ace of cups a new beginning of love for aquarius i'm picking up I see this is some X energy, Aquarius, and you're letting it go because you have found some harmony. You've found a real connection or you've found somebody um, which I think you're seeing as in, wow, two of pentacles, six of cups and the four. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that uh, there was a lot of struggle making a decision surrounding the connection with this person. So you just, you were juggling and you walked away and meanwhile, a soulmate from the past maybe? that returned. I see some return happening here. A soulmate from the past is coming back and I'm quite sure that you want to take a leap of faith towards this person. And in this week, you might take a leap of faith towards this person. Yeah, wow. Interesting. Okay, I, let's see. What is the seven of wands energy? Why, why is this person so resistive? Hanged man. Okay, they're trying to fight it because I see this person is stuck. Eight of swords. This person is stuck at you. Aquarius, I, I'm strongly getting this message. You on one hand are experiencing a choice in love for some of you i'm picking up right and this person is so stuck on you stuck on you what is this star energy what is this star energy coming up for aquarius the page of cups the hierophant oh my god um aquarius i see it happening i see a very solid a uh, grounded connection coming your way. Four of Wands with the Hierophant. This is a real connection. This is a solid connection, right? Hierophant with the Four of Wands. And I see that um, you're looking for a very long-term um, thing here. For a lot of you, I see someone came to apologize to you or you have received an apology or in this week, March. I see someone coming to apologize for something happening. I see past coming back for you. A past person you were waiting on to, I see this person might come back to you. Or simply you were expecting a confession of love that is happening. I see a very naive con confession of love. But I see a very solid commitment coming your way. Very, very solid commitment. And meanwhile, I see you don't want to be here. There's a specific person you don't want to work with. What is this moon energy for Aquarius? What is this moon energy? Who is this person? Why are they so disappointed? By the way, if you want to know the signs, as a lot of you guys ask for signs, I see Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see Aries. I see Capricorn, Pisces. I see Cancer, Pisces energy. I see Taurus, right? And uh, I, I see Cancer energy also. What is this moon energy for this person? Ace of Wands. 
Okay, I see this person is really interested in uh, taking things forward with you. And I see this time they have something very grounded to offer you. I see they came up in a way that was passionate and it was just lustful. But uh, um, for a lot of you, I'm getting this message that... Um, now they have some something concrete to offer you, right? They really want to offer you something concrete and they're looking forward for the right direction. I see in the beginning, you're quite resistive to this connection, but let's see what is future holding up for you. I see two things in your surroundings, Aquarius. Justice, Eight of Wands and the Moon. Yeah, they, they're trying to talk to you. I see this person fa feels something is very unjustified. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your surroundings, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is feeling blocked and they feel uh, clueless what's happening here. And I see that this person feels something is unjustified with them, right? They might try to reach. I definitely see communication coming in. They want to talk to you about what is so unfair in the situation, but they're very disappointed, right? They're disappointed and they want to talk to you. They feel that something has been unfair with them here. Right, they want to communicate this to you. Let me see Five of Swords energy. What are you doing here? You are, I think, uh, walking past this person. For a lot of you, I'm getting this message. Um, Aquarius, what is this Five of Swords? The Star, the Tower, and the Judgment. Interesting. So, for a lot of you, I see that Nine of Pentacles energy. There is an important past person returning in your life, Aquarius. I see a very important past person either has returned in your life or is coming back in your life. And meanwhile, this person is stuck on you and they have no idea what to do because they are quite interested. You, on the other hand, have found uh, the, the, the path you want to travel and the person you want to travel this path with. Harmony lovers with this chariot, I see you have found the direction. And some very unexpected return has happened. I see the judgment card with the tower. You are quite shocked. I think you'll be shocked when this person will reach out to you and apologize and try to offer this uh, sort of grounded commitment to you. Uh, but I think there is a lot happening. Oh my God, I, I need to get more cards. Okay, so let's have a card here first for a lot of you this is the kind of energy where i see multiple people reaching out to you right you are the star you're into your energies and you are really in that mode where you're attracting a lot of stuff i see there is this is a situation turning into third party situation because there is a specific person who is um, somehow compelling to come back to you and there is a beautiful connection in making. I see there's a solid commitment here with the Hierophant and Four of Wands. I see you have love for somebody. Recently, new connection has started in your life. Or in this week, I see a new connection starting in your life. And I see it's grounded. And meanwhile, it's a shock. It's a surprise to you that someone from the past is trying to ask for a judgment call, right? Okay, so Aquarius, what's coming towards you? Let's see. What's going I see you need to get independent from a situation that is uh, toxic. Devil with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay, Aquarius, what do you need to hear? What's coming towards you? Two of Swords. Yes, I see decision. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeding trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So I see your conscious mind and your intuition. They are at conflict right now. So for some of you, I'm picking up that um, you have to make a choice between two people. You are having a beautiful Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Hierophant connection with somebody. Meanwhile, it's very shocking for you. A specific person from the past is trying to return to you. I see there was a point when you tried offering a new big thing to this person, but they somehow blocked you right and uh, we have renewal yes we have a judgment i see a very important connection in your life reviving review the past and the present so that you can plan the bright future understanding your life purpose releasing judgments of yourself and others so uh, the message coming up here very strong aquarius is that you guys need to let go of the past judgments past assumptions that you have made right i see you indecisive you need to pick up the right choice i see there there are more than uh, one options available instead i would say there are specifically two people who are important to you i see the devil energy one is a toxic attachment and other is a very promising future so you need to get rid of one connection 
I do see that you're letting go of this person, right? With whom some current history on and off is happening. And I see someone specific from your past is coming back to your life. And that's that's like reviving, right? Yeah, release and renewal. Can you see that? Letting go of one energy and reviving, revival of one energy. Let's have a card of advice for you. My God, this is intense. Don't you think so? Aquarius, I see a lot happening this week. This is beginning March. I'm picking up a lot unfolding here. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I see this new love starting in your life. The kind of energy that you want to explore. You feel the real click for this person. Meanwhile, there is a specific person with a lot of forgiving and learning is happening. As you release and heal the past, you experience love in the present moment. So Aquarius, I definitely pick up that these two situations are ongoing together. You're letting go of one intense connection of your life that, that's no more serving you. I see you have uh, had a lot with this thing. Meanwhile, you're exploring a beautiful romantic connection in your life, which is really promising I'm picking up. Again, can you see that? Forgiving and learning. It's out again. We have chemistry and wedding. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Chemistry. This there's a strong magnetic connection here and wedding this situation involves wedding so aquarius can you see that i'm so mesmerized with this reading so i see you guys are finally letting go of one thing you're releasing one unhealthy connection or unhealthy situation karmic situation in your life and you are ready to welcome a beautiful situation back isn't it wow so what do Aquarius needs to hear? Aquarius, I'm, I'm really mesmerized with this reading. And I see you are deciding to hold back from one thing and you're ready to move in the right direction. Wow. Aquarius. So we have the energy is gaining momentum. Show the world the real you. Your hard work is paying off. So I see you were working very hard over building the stability in your life so that a good connection for a lot of you I see you were manifesting the right connection in your life and I see the prosperity lies ahead last but not the least I'm just loving this reading wow time to breathe out take time to breathe out Aquarius don't let the pride come in your way I see a beautiful connection unfolding in your life and it, it's meant to say for a lot of you I'm getting this message it's meant to say be, stay because I see four of wands with the Hierophant energy you feel the commitment you feel that this is something that has to happen I really want this in my life meanwhile you have to let go of something that is karmic that has really hurt you I'm picking up and um, that that is something that uh, needs to be released right so it's an amazing reading i see this this month is a month of transformation you're letting go of something very unhealthy of the past and you're welcoming a new connection in your life so we're going to see what happens next in the next reading thank you so much guys for watching bye bye